Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first week of May and I have just finished all my exams a few days ago. I lied in my bed for two days straight and then right now I'm feeling like I need to do something productive. So I'm gonna be sharing how I got through my first year of vet school. Unfortunately, I don't have many videos or photos from last semester since I only started this channel last month, but I'm gonna tell you what I did. Uh, I'll talk about the courses I took, the workload, how I studied, as well as all the exciting extracurricular stuff. So let's go back in time to before vet school even started. This one, we're at a welcome ceremony. We also call it the blue coat ceremony. And that is when all the vet students get their blue coat as a celebration of officially becoming a veterinary student. I really like this blue color, but we only get to wear it for four years. So by the time we're graduating as doctors, we'll go from blue to white gold. I still can't believe we're already done with the first year. You know, like my room still looks the same. I still remember the shock when I first knew that we have nine courses for the first semester of vet school. Ah! It's a huge challenge because I've never taken more than six courses a semester. But now that everything is over and looking back, it's actually not that bad. Because some of the nine courses have pretty light workload. One of it talks about the overall veterinary profession. Uh, things like ethical issues, how to handle stress, and financial problems. We basically just write reflections and the course was a pass or fail, so that's almost nothing. And we have a animal farming course. That course has open book exams, so that's not too much either. And there's a real case discussion course that doesn't require too much effort and the exams are case analysis that you can't really prepare for. And really there are only four courses that has very heavy workload and that's anatomy, histology, immunology, and physiology. And even physiology and immunology were okay for me because I majored in physiology and minored in immunology in undergrad. So I really spend most of my time on anatomy and histology because there's a lot of memorization and lab work. For anatomy, we need to do readings before going to the lab for dissection. I don't know how other people study, but I always make this list of structures that we need to know and take notes on how to identify those structures. I mean, making a list can be time consuming at the beginning of the semester, but it really saves me time when I want to go back to reveal for a lab exam. So here I have a picture of me studying for my first anatomy midterm. I have my list here and this is the 3D model here on the screen. I find it really helpful for um, studying for anatomy. I also have some bones on the side. I have this habit of setting from bones to muscles and then tendons. It just makes more sense to me to go that way. Here I have a photo of me studying for my histology lab exam. I'm looking at the slides first with my naked eye and then under the microscope to study the structures. You can also find very high resolution pictures online for those structures. It's just my personal preference to learn with the slides because that's how we're going to get tested in the lab exam. So it helps with my memorization. So I did pretty well in my first semester, but the second semester hit me hard because you know how all the excitement from getting to vet school were fading and then they're pretty much gone after Christmas break. <laughs> and the materials were getting harder as well. So I was definitely under much more stress at that time because we had exams every week for pretty much the entire semester. We have seven hours of classes a day and everyone's exhausted after school. For me, I take a break after I get home around five and then study for about four hours after dinner. Despite all the studying, vet school is a lot of fun. Like the second semester when we started working with real animals, uh, we had classes with dogs, horses, uh, sheep, and cattle. We walked the teaching dogs every day and groomed the horses every week. And here I have a clip of our teaching beagles running around and this is the first time we walk them. They're super sweet and they always bring a smile on my face. And here I have another photo. This one I took it after my first ICU shift. It was a pretty normal shift, but it was the first time I go into an ICU. So it was pretty exciting for me. 
And that is all my photos and videos from last semester, unfortunately. I wish I took more so I can show you what it's like. And now I just want to talk a little bit more about extracurricular activity because that is my favorite part in med school. We have a lot of interesting clubs. They would host lunch lectures where they invite profs or guest speakers to cover topics that we normally don't learn from class. Some of my favorites are uh, pet nutrition, when they talk about how commercial diets work, acupuncture, which I'm actually thinking about taking an online course on this summer. And I also enjoy learning anything about wildlife. So I'm doing some volunteer work at our hospital's wildlife services as well. What I really like about vet school is that there's always something you can do as long as you are interested in it. Before coming here, I actually have to go around and search for opportunities like this. And now everything happens right here in the school. Plus you get a group of people to share the same passion with you and you're working toward the same goal. And this is what really makes vet school so awesome. So that concludes my first year of vet school. Like always, comment down below if you have any questions. And this time, if you are studying in vet school, what was your first year like and what was your best part of it? And if you like my video, make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!